Sarmandaka Thaga Translated by Bhikkhu Sujato At one time, Venerable Sariputta was staying in the land of the Vajians near Ukachela, on the bank of the Ganges River. Then the wanderer Sarmandaka went up to Venerable Sariputta and exchanged greetings with him. When the greetings and polite conversation were over, he sat down to one side and said to Sariputta, Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called extinguishment. What is extinguishment? Reverend, the ending of greed, hate and delusion is called extinguishment. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for realising this extinguishment? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, the practice for realising this extinguishment. Reverend, this is a fine path, a fine practice for realising this extinguishment. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called perfection. What is perfection? Reverend, the ending of greed, hate and delusion is called perfection. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for realising this perfection? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, the practice for realising this perfection. Reverend, this is a fine path, a fine practice for realising this perfection. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, who in the world have principled speech? Who in the world practice well? Who are the holy ones in the world? Reverend, those who teach principles for giving up greed, hate and delusion have principled speech in the world. Those who practice for giving up greed, hate and delusion are practicing well in the world. Those who've given up greed, hate and delusion, so they're cut off at the root, made like a palm stump, exterminated, and unable to arise in the future, are holy ones in the world. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for giving up that greed, hate and delusion? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, this a practice for giving up that greed, hate, and delusion. This is a fine path, a fine practice for giving up greed, hate, and delusion. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, what's the purpose of living the spiritual life with the ascetic Gotama? The purpose of living the spiritual life under the Buddha is to completely understand suffering. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding this suffering? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this a practice for completely understanding suffering. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding suffering. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, 
they speak of this thing called gaining solace. At what point do you gain solace? When a mendicant truly understands the six fields of contact's origin, ending, gratification, drawback and escape, at that point they've gained solace. But reverend, is there a path and a practice for realising this solace? There is, reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for realising solace. This is a fine path, a fine practice for realising solace. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called gaining ultimate solace. At what point do you gain ultimate solace? When a mendicant is freed by not grasping after truly understanding the six fields of contact's origin, ending, gratification, drawback and escape. At that point they've gained ultimate solace. But reverend, is there a path and a practice for realising this ultimate solace? There is, reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for realising ultimate solace. This is a fine path, a fine practice for realising ultimate solace. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called feeling. What is feeling? Reverend, there are three feelings. What three? Pleasant, painful and neutral feeling. These are the three feelings. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these three feelings? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these three feelings. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these three feelings. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called defilement. What is defilement? Reverend, there are three defilements. The defilements of sensuality, desire to be reborn, and ignorance. These are the three defilements. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these three defilements? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these three defilements. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these three defilements. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called ignorance. What is ignorance? Not knowing about suffering, the origin of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and the practice that leads to the cessation of suffering. This is called ignorance. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for giving up that ignorance? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for giving up ignorance.
This is a fine path, a fine practice for giving up ignorance. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called craving. What is craving? Reverend, there are these three cravings. Craving for sensual pleasures, craving for continued existence, and craving to exterminate existence. These are the three cravings. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these cravings? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these cravings. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these cravings. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called a flood. What is a flood? Reverend, there are these four floods. The floods of sensuality, desire to be reborn, views and ignorance. These are the four floods. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these floods? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these floods. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these floods. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called grasping. What is grasping? Reverend, there are these four kinds of grasping. Grasping at sensual pleasures, views, precepts and observances, and theories of a self. These are the four kinds of grasping. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these four kinds of grasping? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these four kinds of grasping. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these four kinds of grasping. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called states of existence. What are states of existence? Reverend, there are these three states of existence. Existence in the sensual realm, the realm of luminous form, and the formless realm. These are the three states of existence. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these three states of existence? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these three states of existence. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these three states of existence. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called suffering. What is suffering? Reverend, there are these three forms of suffering. The suffering inherent in painful feeling, the suffering inherent in conditions, and the suffering inherent in perishing. These are the three forms of suffering. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding these three forms of suffering? 
There is, reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding these three forms of suffering. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding these three forms of suffering. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, they speak of this thing called identity. What is identity? Reverend, the Buddha said that these five grasping aggregates are identity. That is, form, feeling, perception, choices and consciousness. The Buddha said that these five grasping aggregates are identity. But Reverend, is there a path and a practice for completely understanding this identity? There is, Reverend. Well, what is it? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right immersion. This is the path, this the practice for completely understanding this identity. This is a fine path, a fine practice for completely understanding this identity. Just this much is enough to be diligent. Reverend Sariputta, in this teaching and training, what is hard to do? Going forth, Reverend, is hard to do in this teaching and training. But what's hard to do for someone who has gone forth? When you've gone forth, it's hard to be satisfied. But what's hard to do for someone who is satisfied? When you're satisfied, it's hard to practice in line with the teaching. But if a mendicant practices in line with the teaching, will it take them long to become a perfected one? Not long, reverend. 